G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? Back in the World of Warcraft, on the Human Paladin. Out here in the Blood Mist Isle. Which is over here, if you don't know where it is. Not too far away from Teldrassil. And Darnassus. Blessings upon you. Because those two still exist, right? Report Exarch Admetius. The hand of Argus soldier is many things, obedient, brave, intelligent, and above all honourable. You may yet exhibit some of these traits, Paladin. Report to Exarch Ahmed Admetius at a blood watch if you are still interested in joining the hand. He and his subordinates will further train you in the ways of the Dranae soldier. And remember this, Atraxius. Honourable people do not always perform honourably. Sometimes they cannot. You will find Bloodwatch just up this road to the north. Blessings upon your family. Blessings. Okay. So just north. Currently a zero of eight. So I guess those were just sort of introductory quests. In fact, I don't think we're at... I mean, we're on. We're on that border's edge, right? But until it gets all red-like... Now we're into the blood mist. And my horsey... Blends right in. All crystals everywhere. So this is the blood watch. We got quests over here. We'll start by start by binding here. Find something useful. Oh my goodness! Look at all the quests. How do I know which one's which? The Naru have not forgotten us. I had a feeling that you would make it this far, Paladin. If you are willing to go further, I am willing to teach you. Dionys Aka. Good fortune. What does Argus mean to you, Atraxius? Many Dranai probably do not know or remember our home planet. It is there that we split from the Manari, the twisted demonic reflections of ourselves that were gifted by Sargeras. Or as they call themselves, Erada. Erada. This word once held meaning. Admetius smacks his lips as if to taste the word. Disgusting. Let us not waste any more time. Find Vindicator Boros to begin your training. Remember the lessons of the past. I was hope so hoping this guy was Boros right there. <laughs> Go far and wide to find bodies right next to you. Oh, these are some true... Those are some true Burning Crusade. Shoulders right there. What it means to be a hand of Argus. We are agents of the light. We serve without question. We die without question. May your days be long and your hardships... Ah, Argus. I mean, Atraxius, I've heard about you. You're the one that made the castle run in under 15 minutes, right? Bah, probably not. Are you ready to spill some blood in the name of the light? For Velen? For Argus? Boris laughs. I'll slow down. Blessings upon your family. Blood Watch? Blood Watch is two, one of two forward bases operated by the hand of Argus. You have already been to the other base. As you are watch, things are completely drif different in Blood Mist. When we first got here, the land was as beautiful as Azure Mist. We even called it Silvergale, but now sickness is spreading across the land. Worse yet, the blood elves that we were battling on the Exodar survived the crash. This brings me to your assignment. Venture northwest into Bladewood and terminate any blood elves you may find. Remember the lessons of the past. Now the problem is that there's so many quests here. I'll spend about an hour picking them all up. The problem, as well, is that Half of them might be in the same spot that I'm going, but half of them might be in completely different areas. And I don't really want to talk to all of them, but damn it. 
Oh well. I guess lose faith. I guess place isn't that big. I can always come back for the next one, but Good let's get fortune. this other quest. Good health, long life. Irradiated crystal shards. The exit does crash scattered pieces of fouled crystals all over the blood mist isle, corrupting the water and the landscape. We've even begun finding pieces of the crystals inside the flesh of animals taken for meat. I've uncovered a way to purify the shard and turn them into functional crystals. So if you bring me enough shards, I'll trade one of my completed crystals for them. So far, I've found the shards in the bodies of bears, ravagers, flutterers, and triads inhabiting the corrupted part of the island. Dionys Aka. The Naru have not forgotten us. What we know. We've learned much of our enemies in recent days. The Blood Elves are led by a being known as Sironas and plot to destroy us. Ultimately, they seek to enslave Oros and regain control of the Exodar. Light be praised, we have stopped their supply line by destroying the Sun Gate. Unfortunately, they continue to use the contaminant of the Vector Coil to poison the land. Using the mutagenic properties of the Fallout to their advantage, with the knowledge Admetius has devised a plan, seek him out. Remain vigilant. I'll pick up these quests, because I, I imagine those quests are all over here. Open your heart to the light. I'm sure that's not how it's gonna go down, but we'll try. Remember the lessons of the past. Newfound allies. Abuja Mikolas has done a commendable job of safeguarding Bloodwatch Paladin. But our enemies are many and our resources few. Our weakness is well known to our enemies, but your contact with the force of the Alliance is something they haven't accounted for. I've prepared a letter of introduction to the people of Orpedine, the closest Alliance settlement, proposing cooperation in the fight against our foes. Take it with you and seek out Huntress Keller Nightbow near the docks west of the Exodar. Be kind to those less fortunate. Uh, that's... That's nowhere near... <laughs> that's down there. Okay. I'll take that one off for now. I wonder if that's the game's way of trying to get me to go to Ashenvale. Oh, sorry, go to Astronaut. Orbiting. Darkshaw. You know what I'm talking about. Near. What we know? I am in need of your services, Atraxius. I have a plan to topple the entire Sunhawk army. But before we can progress, we need to gather some vital information. We need to identify the weaknesses in their primary defense. Unfortunately, we have been unable to get close enough to the Vector Coil to gauge their defenses. If we could get the prisoner to talk, we could get the information that we needed to break through the line and destroy the Vector Coil. You heard me? I want to blow the damn thing up. Be kind to those less fortunate. Arcanan Poros. If you only learn one thing during your time in Blood Mist, Paladin, I hope that it is vigilance. The island claims the unwary first, then begins to wear down even the most guarded of warriors. Everywhere you turn, a foe stands ready to take your life. Do not lose faith. Welcome to Blood Watch, Paladin. Seeing to the defenses of the outpost is my primary concern. But I've also been tasked with a variety of other duties by our leaders at the Exodar. The problem is that it's hardly safe to send out large amounts of researchers when the island is this dangerous. I need someone to gather a series of crystal samples from various sites on the island. The first sample I need must come from the ravager infested ship debris south of the town and across the bridge. May your days be long and your hardships few. Yeah, it's kind of all over the place, isn't it? Talk to the Hand. The Hand of Argus has established a forward base at Vindicator's Rest, but they are solely outnumbered by both the Blood Elves and mutated wildlife. Without backup, their outpost is in danger of falling, and we'd have no way to keep an eye on the events near the Vector Coil. Reco report to Scout Jordan Lee at Vindicator's Rest. To the northwest and offer your assistance, Artraxius. Dionys Aka. Warm wishes to you. What we don't know? Our attempts at interrogation have failed miserably, Artraxius. Torture is, of course, out of the question. What we need is a human on the inside. 
I can cast a spell upon you that would make you appear blood elf and adjust your language. Through subterfuge, we may be able to get the information we need out of the captured agent. Under the guise, I want you to get whatever information you can out of the prisoner. And Artraxius, do not leave Bloodwatch while disguised as the spell will fail. Favor the road traveled by few. Right. I can do that quest right now. So the problem here, I think, is, you know, this was done at the time of Burning Crusade. And I think back then, you know, they just sort of popped quests down. All of them. You get all the quests. But um, as time went on, we sort of have more like hubs, which have a lot of quests that are in an area. Then you move on to the next spot. A bit more cohesive. The captured Sunhawk agent eyes you suspiciously. I've never seen you before. Who are you? I'm a prisoner. What does it look like? The Draenei filth captured me as I exited the Sun Gate. They killed our portal controllers and destroyed the gate. The Sun King will be most displeased with this turn of events. Don't worry, new blood. There are many more portal controllers and many more suitable locations for portals. I am certain that Cyrenus will have a new gate up very soon. These blue-skinned dogs are not long for this world. Cyrenus and the Abomination will clean up whatever the Sunhawk forces leave behind. Ah yes, Cyrenus. I had nearly forgotten about Cyrenus was here. I served under Cyrenus back in Ardland. I hadn't heard of this Abomination though. Those damnable Draenei captured me before I could even materially, even fully materialize on the world. It was Cyrenus's idea. The Abomination is actually one of our own. He is a high-ranking member of the Draenei military order. Triumvirates or some such nonsense. Whatever that thing is, it's massive, powerful, and full of rage. Any attacks against the Vector Coil will most certainly result in failure, as long as that Abomination is around. Incredible. How did Cyrenus accomplish such a thing? Cyrenus claims that certain Eredar possess the ability to transform others of their race. I can't see a face. There we go. Uh, transform others of their race into Manari, savage demonic beings. Drano is supposedly one Cyrenus, and Cyrenus is a powerful Eredar. The agent laughs. Can you believe it? These pathetic creatures were once all powerful demons. What kind of fool rejects such power? Cyrenus is an Eredar. I, I mean, yes, obviously. Obviously? How else could she infiltrate their ranks and pass as a Draenei? She's been living among them for a very long time. The Vector Coil is massive. I hope we have more than one abomination guarding the numerous weak points. Numerous? It has two weak points. The base on the structure on the west side and the base on the structure on the east. Hey, wait a minute. Would you know anything about the Vector Coil? Didn't you say that you were captured before you even materialized? I did, and you believe me. Thank you for the information, Blood Elf, and you have helped us more than you could know. Treacherous whelp, Cyrenus will destroy you and your people. Oh, right. I was probably supposed to be in there, but okay. <laughs> ah, she fell for it anyway. Come on, 12, buddy. 12. Gotta show me at least one 12 before I go. What? Oh, so she definitely would have known I wasn't a blood elf. Not even a single 12. Not even a single 12. Wow. Blessings upon you. Aha! Well done, Artraxius. Well done, indeed. Are you ready to eradicate the blood elf menace from our island uh, forever? Do not lose me. Vindicators rest. I would not ask you to single-handedly bear the burden of destroying the Vector Coil and slaying Cyrenus, Atraxius. However, I believe that you can be of some help, clearing the way for others that might take on such a dangerous assignment. Take the road going north out of Bloodwatch and follow it until you get to the Fork. Once there, take the left road and follow it until you see Vindicators rest. It will be slightly west of the road itself. Corinne will be waiting for you. Good health. Long Good life. Good health. All right, so. There are a bunch of quests to go. Oh, my, there's only three quests left. I might as well just pick them all up. <laughs> oh, there's four quests. Uh, oh, there's five. No, there's six. Oh, my goodness. All right, sorry, folks. I just got to. Let's just Whoa, get it all done in one go. 
About a week ago, my research team and I were exploring the western wilds of Blood Mist when we were attacked by bloodthirsty spiders. The effect of crystal contamination was clearly evident, as these spiders were massive and extremely aggressive. I managed to escape, but my team wasn't so lucky. We must not let the same fate befall others. Go west to the Amberweb Pass and destroy the spiders and their matriarch, Zara. May your days be long, and your hardships few. Everything that has happened since the crash is a little more than a blur. It seems like a lifetime ago that I was aboard the Exodar. Now my reality is restricted to this island, with its mutant creatures and endless sea of blood elf agents. Soon it will be as if I've never known anything different. Seek the path of the light. Search for Galilean. Do you think often of your family, Atraxius? There were a number of families aboard the Exodar, but I've heard of very few being reunited. I myself am looking for traces of my husband Galen, Galen who was a technician in the Cryo Corps. The wreckage of it is located to the west, and it's swarming with blood elves. I must find out what became of Galen. Even news of his death is better than not never knowing. My husband will be wearing a pendant made identical to my own. They were a gift from my sister. Favor the road traveled by few. Catch and release. The black silt murlocs on the southwestern coast are curious creatures. In some ways they act barely sentient, yet in others they show a remarkable degree of organization. I have a few theories about that, but no real way to test them until recently. I devised a method that will allow me to track the Molochs I'm interested in without doing any lasting harm or interfering with their natural behavior. If you're willing to help with the marking, I'll gladly pay you for your assistance. Safe journey. Four more quests. Four more short quests, as long as they don't double up. Arcanon Poros. Are you Atraxius? Well, that's about time. i just about given up on finding you. There's an urgent message waiting for you at the mailbox. The person that gave it to me was a human admiral from Azure Mist. Admiral Od Odessi something. The name escapes me. He said you would know who he was. Safe journey. Is he mounting up? What's he doing? Each day is a blessing. Oh, he's looking through his mail sack. Wanted, Deathclaw. In order of Harbinger Mikolas, a bounty to be paid to the brave soul who returns with proof of the marauding bear Deathclaw's demise. Deathclaw could, should be considered extremely dangerous and is responsible for the killing of a survey team on the coast to the northwest of Bloodwatch. Travelers are advised to avoid the area. Open immediately. The Blood Curse Legacy. Dear friend, my hand trebles as I ink this letter. I pray that it reaches you in time. Last night, Edward Haynes, captain of the ship, uh, Lost Hope, appeared before me in my tent. The same Edward Haynes that died of scurvy 20 years ago. This apparition told me a tale that made my heart tremble. A tale that I need you to hear and a mission that I need you to accomplish. Will you do it? Will you seek out Edward on Wormscar Island, northeast of your base? I don't have to tell him yes or no, do I? The Naru have not but then they probably assume that I'll do it. Know thine enemy. It's good to see another new face here in Bloodwatch, Paladin. Although the Blood Elves are the most immediate threat, there are other sinister creatures that call Blood Mist Isle home. The Nazivus, Nazivus, Satira are of particular concern. They are foul demonic creatures, commanding dark energies and feeding on the corruption created by the Exodus crash. We must hold them in check, but first we must learn more about them. Go southwest to Nazivian, Nazivian and learn what you can from their grotesque monument. Do not oh my goodness, folks, reading so much. <laughs> Tell you what. The Naru have not forgotten us. The others look at the landscape and see only death, corruption, and adversity. None of those things are in short supply. True, but the view ignores the opportunities presented by our environment. 
I will not stand by and watch these opportunities go ignored, Paladin. With your help, we can demonstrate to the others here at Bloodwatch and how to make use of the environment and its creatures. The bare necessities. Akar. As I'm sure you've seen on your time, in the Blood Mistile, very little remains unchanged by our arrival. My training experience has taught me that even the products of an environment like this one can be put to use. With so few resources, we must rely on our ingenuity to provide for us. I've been supplementing our stores with meat from the bears that wander this island. With the proper preparation, it can be safely be eaten. If you're going to be out in the field, why not help replenish our stocks? Be well. May your days be long and your hardships few. Constrictor Vines, a good woodsman makes use of every available resource, Paladin. Even the most bizarre creatures possess attributes we can use to our advantage. With Blood Watch under constant assault from the Hassan Hawks, we're looking to a variety of natural defenses, including traps. The Lash's thorny vines are perfectly suited to the construction of the traps I have in mind. The combination of sharp spines and deadly toxin will fell unwary attackers. Bring me the vines of mutated constrictors so that I can begin my work. Remember the lessons of the past. Are we getting through it, folks? Almost there. May the light embrace you. Mart Palm. Mushroom Menagerie. Did you know mushroom hunting is far more dangerous than mushroom consumption? Mushroom hunters expose themselves to many unknowns, not including potential wildlife dangers. What would life be without a little danger? I am in need of mushrooms for my collection. Scattered throughout these unexplored wilds, you will find four different types. An aquatic stinkhorn, a blood mushroom, a ruinous polyspore, and a falcone fungus. They are each unique to various regions in Blood Mist. Bring them to me. Dionys Akka. Oh, it's a dwarf. Hi. Hi. In my years as a uh, member, as members of Explorers League, I've been all over Azeroth, but I've never seen anything quite like blood mist. Off with you. Explorers League, is that something for gnomes? Babysitting. Oh, would you believe it? They pulled me out of a promising dig and sent me along with Captain Odysseus. I expedition to babysit that little gnome. I'd never heard of a gnome wanting to become a prospector before, so I asked. Seems we are taking gnomes now. And this particular one has a fascination with Marlocks, where he's gone off and set up shop in an old turtle shell on the northern shore of the island. Yeah, go and have a look if you don't believe me. See you soon. Alrighty. I apologize, but I'm gonna have to drink some water, because that was crazy. Oh my goodness, sorry. Okay, so. With a little bit of luck, that's everything. <laughs> so let's go and start with Blood Watch over here. And then we'll just sort of work our way around, I suppose. Blood Mistile. Now, I can't actually fly around here, can I? No, that's right. Yeah, for some reason, they haven't made it accessible. Which I find very strange. I would have thought by now, they would have just connected these zones to the rest of the world. Or if not, just simply allow flying. There must be some specific reason why, though. Bleed wood. I don't think can't be bothered would be the answer. I mean, there might be some of that, but there has to be more to it than just that. But folks, uh, if you'd do me a favor and hit, up, hit the like button. If you're enjoying the series and as you watch episodes just simply hit the like button when the video first starts up that would certainly help my playthrough get a little bit more exposure it's always nice to see a little bit of growth when you spend so much time 
making these series. So anything you can do to help would be appreciated. Hit the like button, click on the uh, comment button, leaving a comment down below. Sharing the video with some friends. Or if there's a natural way to share it on a forum you frequent or a Reddit or whatever. Ten out of ten. Alright, that's done. You right there. Here comes the hand of Argus. Oh, but I, I certainly could feel that on the throat, I tell you. <laughs> Certainly feel that one. Well, it's just a quest, a quest or two, and then off I go. And you know, I didn't have to do as much reading in one go. That's fine. Makes me wonder those ac uh, voice actors that read. That narrate, you know, like books and so on for what's it, audible and so on. I wonder how they work. I wonder if they just do like a page at a time. I suppose you have that. If you're recording it yourself, a lot easier than if you had to go to a studio and they're recording it. But I wonder if they themselves know, like, oh, we can only limit them to about this much. Otherwise, I won't be able to work the next day. Okay, good. I was just about it to say. I wonder if there's something I need to press. Tag a scout. So we completed any of these. Not yet. Hold the blood watch one. Which is like way down the list. And probably not being tracked anymore. I can't even see it there. Oh there it is. Okay. Yeah, I've got so many quests here. I wonder, like, I, I might get, like, four of these chapters done, like, you won't go. <laughs> You're done! I was playing Final Fantasy XIV, actually, on a different channel. Uh, live streaming. If you want to see that series, it's over at Watch Dan Game on YouTube. I do upload it there as well, but I'm also on Twitch. Um, but anyway, there's a lot of reading for those of you that are unfamiliar with it. A lot of reading in that too. So I'm thankful anytime like a voice actor speaks up and starts voicing one of the characters. I mean, I like reading all the stuff. It's not that. It's just when it's like one after another. It's a bit taxing on the throat. <laughs> 